get ready for the dictation start now sir honorable members will recall that the bill was introduced in the house of the people on the 2nd september 1953 it has ha had a long history and in one form or another it has been before the public since the end of 1949 in the statement of objects and reasons the various stages through which the bill has passed since 1946 have been summarized and i need not recapitulate on this occasion the circumstances in which the then government of india took the decision in early 1946 to initiate an inquiry into the reform of our company law i would remind honorable members that between 1946 and 1948 the entire field of company law was carefully reviewed by two distinguished company lawyers who were appointed to recommend the broad lines on which the present act should be revised their recommendations were examined in the then ministry of commerce and certain tentative departmental views which emerged were circulated in a comprehensive memorandum to all recognized trade and industrial associations bar associations the high courts and the state governments that brought us to the end of 1949 many representations on this memorandum were duly received from chambers of commerce trade and industrial associations state governments and the general public at the end of 1950 the government of india appointed a committee under the chairmanship of sri bhaba to go into the entire question of the revision of the companies act with particular reference to its bearing on the development of trade and industry in this country this committee examined a large number of witnesses in many parts of the country and submitted its report in march 1952 this report again was circulated to all state governments chambers of commerce trade associations high courts and many other bodies at the same time a special officer was appointed in the department of economic affairs ministry of finance to examine the report in the light of the views received from the interested public and to submit proposals to government for the revision of the present act the bill now before the house is based largely on the recommendations of the company law committee modified in a few particulars honorable members will notice that so far as public relations go the bill has covered adequate ground in a measure like the company's bill however which covers the entire field of the operation of joint stock companies the limits of consultation and discussion can never be exhausted and i would like to inform honorable members that although the bill was introduced in parliament over 7 months ago our officers have been engaged throughout the period in further studies and informal discussions with the interest concerned and on occasions i have also participated in such discussions i have also given some further thought to some of the issues arising out of the bill and i propose at the appropriate stage to bring before the select committee any changes in the provisions of the bill which seem to me to be worthy of consideration 
in the light of this further examination no honorable members will have noticed that the bill contains six clauses and 12 schedules i think it is probably one of the longest legislative measures in recent legislative history but its size might be regarded as misleading unless i make a few comments the bill is both one must remember a consolidating and amending measure as mentioned in the statement of objects and reasons this is the first opportunity which has occurred since 1929 for the consolidation of the companies act advantage has been taken of this opportunity to redraft several long and complicated sections in the present act which has been split up into a large number of clauses this is the large largest single factor equitable for the increase in the number of clauses in the bill new clauses embodying substantial changes in the present law would hardly constitute more than a small fraction of the bill i would also draw attention to the structural changes in the bill to which a reference has been made in the statement of objects and reasons the redraft of the bill and the rearrangement of the existing chapters in the companies act in a more logical order have i think resulted in a notice noticeable improvement in the form of the bill and i hope will facilitate better understanding and appreciation of the scheme i wish that the act which came into effect long ago was implemented properly i know that the minister here is very earnest in implementing it but unfortunately his colleagues at the state level are disappointing him unfortunately no steps have been taken for trimming or toning up the administration at the state level and at the district levels they have to be taken immediately stop